belong to me. I will drive you to the point of death. Yes, father. $2,563 for father. David. David, the less you sleep, the stronger you'll become. Father doesn't sleep for days at a time. Now let's hear the chant. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out sick. We can't hear you. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Louder. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Bring in the money. Stay awake. Smash out Satan. Wait, this? Oh, come on, give me a break. Come on, I wear this because, you know, uh, I wear it because, you know, it's not gaudy. And uh, besides, let's face it, people don't punch nuns, okay? I may look tough, but I need protection. Fortunately, we've got a guy in the back there. There he is, big guy. Oh, he's big. Yeah, so I meet a car earlier tonight. Yeah, a moving car. <clears throat> car just went by, you know, he took a bite out of the fender. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a guy sitting here holding a bicycle wheel. Seriously, look. Hey, hey, fella. Having a big time? I mean, there's a guy sitting here, not laughing. Not laughing. Holding a bicycle wheel. If that's all they sold you, you got ripped off. I mean, I'm no expert on bikes or anything, but isn't there supposed to be, like, a big metal part? You know, with another wheel, maybe? No doubt about it, no laughs are coming from him. Not one laugh is coming from him. I know what it is. You don't buy the story about the nun's outfit, right? You think I'm wearing this because I need cheap laughs. Is that what it is? I don't need this for cheap laughs. You don't want to know what I think of cheap laughs? I'll show you what I think of cheap laughs. <laughs> Sixty people out there think I'm hysterically funny. You sit there like cold borscht. Best friends are supposed to laugh, okay? Even when I stink up the joint. Which I didn't. Tonight. Well, this friend's got something really important to tell you. There's a run in your car. What? What's the matter, David? Sarah moving out again? Oh, it's Mr. Stone treating Wait a minute, David, really, I'm really trying to be serious with you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're in your business suit. Look. Can I tell you something, please? I think that you should let Sarah go, because the only time you're ever really nuts about her is when she's leaving. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't no, talk no. about her. No, let's forget about it, okay? No, I don't want to forget about it. I'm trying to tell you something. I think you should relax. I think you should take it easy. Why don't you see somebody else? Somebody nice. Well, Jesus Christ, it's not exactly as if you've been in park lately. You know? What about what's her name? Erica, when was she? Two weeks ago? That wasn't my fault. I mean, uh, look at the profile. Get out of here. Well, what the hell were you going to go to California for if it wasn't for that? To see Carl. Uh-huh. And? Relax a bit. To take it easy, to relax a bit. Well, good. Why don't you go and relax a bit? OK. Yeah, yeah. And, and while you're at it, why don't you go give Carl my worst, will you? <laughs> I, mean, I mean my best, of course. Listen, I want, I want to tell you something. Listen to me, OK, please? I love you, and I love Sarah, but individually. David, together, I think you're a mess. You know? Like a bird on a wire Like a drunk in a midnight choir I have tried in my way to 
me free Like a worm on a hook Like a knife in some old-fashioned book I have saved all my rivers If I have been untrue PLC I hope you know It was never To you It's David about you. Oh, yeah? Like what, uh, what has he told you about me? Oh, everything he said was wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry, David. I could not tell a lie. What? <laughs> what? Saves the dying carpets. You'll see why in a minute. David? Hi. Hello. I'm Ruthie. Carl's told me so much about you. Come on, you must be star. Come on. Well, what do you think? What is it? <laughs> we're called the Young Pioneer Community Center. We're sort of a cooperative, except we're not. You see, it's a whole new concept. We run legal aid centers and health clinics and daycare centers and free food giveaways and old folks homes. Isn't that great? Who pays? Well, we have all sorts of companies to deal with that. We are 100%, 1 0 0, self supporting. All in seven years. Isn't that fantastic? So, why the big secret? Oh, I wanted you to see it so you'd believe it. How many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? Yes, and how many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? Oh, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Dave, I'm really sorry. I have to fill in for someone up at the camp. My mother died, and I can't refuse. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't you come along? Yeah, David, oh, why yes, not? It'll be fun. Come Just on. Just for the You'll weekend. Love it. You'll come on. Why not? Come on, David. We'll take off. Sure. Come on. 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 Come Say 
Good morning, brothers! How is everybody? Good morning! Hey, Lou, wake up! Come on! Wake up, David! Good morning! Welcome to California! Yeah, I know! Sunday up for hours! Come on, let's go! Sunshine! Come on! We have to go into town. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. Carl told me all about you. You're gonna have a great day. Come on, let's go! Fine, fine. Yeah, it's great, huh? Yeah.